Hello friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we're going to take you on a tour of this beautiful 10,000 square foot home. It is in St. George Parade of Homes. And if you're looking at other Parade of Homes videos, I will tag them in the card above this video and in the description below. Let's go check out this beautiful home right after this intro. Let me tell you a little bit about this property before we go on a tour. First, I would like to thank the builder, Christensen Homes. And this property is a 10,184 square foot home, has five bedrooms, seven bathrooms, two floors, and five, five garage spaces. But let's go see for ourselves. There's another frame TV with a matching matching frame for the rest of the trim. Take a look at those uh, fire sliding doors cool. too. What a sweet light fixture. There's beams throughout the entire house. Seems like all the wood accents are really in this here. Similar neutral color palette. Yeah, we've been seeing that kind of almost in every house. Lots of gray. They did something interesting with these baseboards too. The baseboards are undercut, so they're actually flush with the rest of the wall. This is sweet. On sweet. Sweet on sweet. Is that a thing? This is now you just coined it. Oh look at that. I have never seen lighting like this in the shower shelf. Oh, I that's have a really sweet either. touch. You know, sometimes you just want to take a shower in the dark. Can't wait to check out that pool. Um, I would imagine that at night this pool looks magnificent because it is pretty rare to use darker finishes for the pool, and especially if you look at the deeper end, it looks like it's bottomless. Okay, let's go back inside, it's cold. <laughs> Beautiful under counter lighting. And I'm obsessed with all of these shower shelves that also have lighting in them. Sucker for detail. Thank you. Sure, I got it. This little bit. Okay hey guys, you have to check this out. So naturally my brain goes there. This edge, partly because the pool is really dark, it looks like it's probably 12 to 15 feet deep. And there is a roof detail up above that I'm sure if you put the two and two together would seem like a great spot to jump off into the deep end of the pool. I don't know if it's accessible, but anybody with children would imagine that it wouldn't take them long to figure it out. Let's go check out the gym. This entire area has so much room to hang out. Like after, after workout, you just come chill out, take a dip in a pool. Oh, that is a proper gym. 
Turns out I'm not the only one that's obsessed with dark interior finishes and the frame TV. It looks awesome in the middle of that mirror too. I'm really not sponsored by Samsung, but I should be. As much as I've been pointing out these TVs in these videos. You know. I mean, you got a point, they do look cool. The mirror is making it impossible for me not to get myself, but. And directly across, um, take a look at this basketball court. Is that a full court? Is it a half court? Oh, it's a full court. How sweet is that? Vaulted ceilings is massive. Take a look at that. Is that a, is that a big ass fan? No. Sure is. That is the biggest fan. <laughs> Check out the court. What's up? Does it, does it feel soft on your feet? Yeah, it does. This is sweet. I would shoot the hoop, but you guys don't want to see that. I mean, they did put a basketball in here, so. <laughs> I'm surprised they left the ball out. They're probably the one for people to, to play. Yeah, I mean, they've got a bunch of signs saying do not enter, but they left a basketball, so. Yeah. I'm much better at selling real estate than I am at uh, playing basketball. And this gym area has its own pool slash gym bath, which is kind of a nice touch. It's just a powder that's accessible. Let's go see the owner wing. So this home has five bedrooms and seven bathrooms. I don't know if you guys have been counting bathrooms so far. How many have you counted? Drop us a comment below. I'm not sure how many we have left, but I'm sure it's plenty. So total is seven. Hey, we see so far. It's a cool playground area. I wonder how big is this lot? It is massive. Just the home itself is 10,000 square feet and it takes up a really decent you know, the footprint of the property itself is massive and you still have a massive backyard. A little wet right here. Huh. It says do not enter everywhere. We're in a do not enter court. It's a fun little side excursion though. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was the door that we're aiming for. Hi, dude. So we have evidently entered the master suite and this is the master dressing finished with beautiful closet finished shelving as a window that opens to the spa and more of that wood detail take a look at that rex same wood detail that we saw in the entry i really love how this design touch kind of ties in this whole property again under cabinet under mirror lighting now my sister Susan, she's a bath. She likes to soak at night. Yeah. How sweet is this? So this tub is part of the outside. So this is an exterior space. The tub has a beautiful ceiling detail with a really cool looking light fixture up above. Rex, you gotta come around here and take a look at this thing. Check it out. So, you have an outdoor shower. Two outdoor showers, I stand corrected. And these pebbles are so smooth that if you were to step on them with your bare feet, they would, they would actually feel, would feel fine. And I'm, I'm funny about, you know, textile uh, things. Tactile, I guess. <laughs> Take a look at that tub. Do you want to take a shower out here? Yes. What group is the shower? See? Right there. Tub is definitely a centerpiece. Oh, I didn't even see the one there. But it was another shower? Yeah. Just in case it's too cold outside. Like today.
So this is like a his and her situation, I think. We saw the other side of the closet, and this must have a jewelry organizer. And inside, actually I was wrong, this is an LG steamer, which is really cool. It has this cool mirror finish. I think this is a new model. I haven't seen these before with the mirror finish on the exterior. How cool is that? And the rest of it is beautifully finished with a nice exterior window for some extra light. <laughs> I'm real, please don't touch me. Oh, how do I agree with you, plant? <laughs> Look at that under lighting. It's actually a matching detail all the way at the top, too. Commercial laundry set. Another, another frame. I don't think everyone would have guessed that that was such a popular thing. It's a big hit. Let's go past this for a second. Sweet hallway bath. I love how the design of these countertops and under cabinet lighting just flows. If anybody's been following this channel, for any period of time. You guys know I'm a sucker for a proper butler pantry. And this is certainly the one. The Sub-Zero beverage refrigerator with cooler drawers, beautiful countertops, a full wolf oven in the chef's. So this is more of a chef's kitchen rather than a, a butler pantry. Nice prep area with a sink. And right through these doors, you have access to your outdoor kitchen. It's a beautiful touch. Thank you. Look at the size of this island. And actually, by having a chef's kitchen, they've eliminated all the appliances. That's pretty slick. beam details. Light fixtures and beam details. Part yet? How are you? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. What are you filming that for? For our YouTube channel. For what? For our YouTube channel. Oh, what's your YouTube channel? Uh, if you just look up Southern Utah Real Estate, our channel oh, usually pops yeah, up. Is the same class. Well, I don't have any in your little house. Yeah, I just want to see this. This is a craft room. This. this is a precise reproduction of the armor worn by the warlord Taku, Takugawa during the battle of Sekihara, 1680. Absolutely. Yeah. One of the laundry rooms with the cat door. 
dog door, small dog door, reasonably sized bulldog. <laughs> this is why it's a nice touch. Our viewers are so used to seeing these videos with Michonne constantly pointing places, but unfortunately she wasn't able to uh, join us this time. Let's go here. These built-ins. There's so much detail in this home. Well, I'm just curious what your take is with all these fancy lights and pieces. I I love all of the all of the beams, wood features, and all the all the light fixtures. I'm, I'm a big sucker for light fixtures. I feel like in any home, if you have a great light package, it transforms the look of the entire space. Well, that's something too. Like you know, they're not getting this at Lowe's. So yeah, where are not. where are these guys getting all these fancy lighting fixtures? There's a couple of great light suppliers in town. Uh, Wilkinson House of Lights. This video is not sponsored by them, but they are definitely a great spot to purchase lights. I love all of the built-ins that tie everything together. Lights are cool too. It's interesting, there's an induction top right there. And then the full wolf guest up in here. Let's check out the upstairs. This is the proper, proper oh, theater setup. That. Sounds like they have some good speakers. Yeah. Look at the look at the ceiling detail though. You really feel it. Oh, oh yeah. Dolby Atmos. Dolby Atmos. Audio can precisely move in any direction within this theater. Whether the sound sweeps from the back, to all the way in front, arcs overhead, or moves anywhere in between. You will feel every dimension. I don't That's care nice. how big a house I have, I just want this room. Yeah, me too. It's hard to talk in there. Guys, if you could experience feeling the sound in your home theater, that's it. What do you think, Rex? Oh man, I just want to live in there. It, it truly feels like you could, you could sense it. It's hard to convey this through video. Hopefully you're watching this with good audio or maybe wearing headphones. We'll see how it turns out in post. There's a massive front door too. It's, it's easy to miss these details when the flow of traffic is kind of not as natural as it would be when you're actually using this property. The real question is, how big is the garage? There's a lot of the garages. Guys, Rex and I are both blown away by the home theater in this house. I feel like overall, Christensen Homes did an incredible job with this beautiful bright home. We didn't get to see the inside of this RV garage, but I'm certain it was mind blowing. Let us know what do you guys think. Drop us a comment below. Tell us what is the most incredible detail that blew your mind. For me, for X, this is the home theater. I think the uh, chef's kitchen was a really nice touch. We haven't seen it executed this beautifully yet, but let us know what impressed you. Thank you so much for tuning in and check out this video. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button. Give this video a like if you enjoyed this video and uh, stay tuned for the next one.